We're bringing explosives in. Stand back. Evacuate. Plus two? Three, two, one, detonate! Whoa! 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 Supreme Skills Demolition Spectacle! What a sight! In this episode, we present life-saving technology. A large earthquake can flatten buildings in an instant. How can people trapped below them be saved? One technology is essential. It's called breaching. Breaching creates an escape route by partially demolishing reinforced concrete. But there's a big problem. To better withstand earthquakes, much harder types of concrete have been developed. To break them apart, we need more power and speed than ever before. Today, watch us take on demolition with hurricane force. On one side, explosives that shatter thick concrete in an instant. On the other, a super powerful water jet. Don't underestimate the power of water. Under ultra high pressure, it can penetrate concrete. Technology to save lives breaching a super strong reinforced concrete wall. <gasps> wow! The aesthetics of destruction, supreme skills! Welcome, I'm your host, Chihara Jr. And I'm Meso Ejima. Today's theme is precision demolition. This contest is one of the largest we've ever tried, so we're doing it in a quarry. I can see why. It's not something we can fit in a small space. Have you ever heard of breaching? Never. It's new to me. So today we invited some special tutors to help Junior understand what's involved. Hello. Hi, nice to see you. Thanks for having us. You're my tutors? <laughs> this is the comic duo Tabata Fujimoto. Fujimoto has a degree in engineering from the prestigious University of Tokyo. He'll definitely be a good tutor. Now then, let's get started on today's lesson. <laughs> now, we studied up on how breaching is done. There'll be a quiz later. Junior, pay attention. Yes, sir. <laughs> Just what is breaching anyway? We visit the Yokohama City Fire Academy. More than 3,600 firefighters have received training here. We'll see a breaching demonstration presented by the Elite Super Ranger Unit. Breaching is a technique used to rescue victims who are trapped under rubble. It must be performed as quickly as possible without sacrificing safety. For training, they use concrete of average hardness. It's 15 centimeters thick. The first step is to confirm victim safety. This must be done properly, no matter how long it takes. No victim directly below. Roger. We see a victim's foot at 9 o'clock, 50 centimeters away. Roger. Go! They use a special machine to cut the concrete. It's not easy. They have to make repeated passes to cut away material a little at a time. They work steadily for two hours. Finally. Whoa! Amazing! They've cut a triangular hole. There's a reason for this particular shape. Quiz time! 
The triangle sides are 90 centimeters long. That's the minimum size needed for something to pass through. What is it? One, a stretcher. Two, a mini excavator. Three, a rescuer with an air tank. Four, a rescue dog. Which one is it? Hmm. A dog doesn't need such a big hole to get through. I choose the air tank. Here's the answer. Fujimoto's strapped in. Don't worry. A stretcher, huh? The correct answer is a stretcher. The 90-centimeter triangle is the minimum size needed to pass a large man through on a stretcher. <laughs> Going through. <laughs> He's through. They did it. <laughs> These firemen train night and day to save lives. But there's one thing that makes breaching even more difficult. It's super strong reinforced concrete, which has recently come into common use. Just look at how it compares with ordinary concrete, completely undamaged. If this super strong concrete should somehow collapse in a disaster, it's big trouble. So the Rangers give us a challenge. Using a water jet and explosives help us break through super strong concrete in two hours or less. Okay. This'll be tough. You're right. So, Fujimoto and I went out and filmed two teams who are willing to accept this tough challenge. Junior, don't forget, there's another quiz coming. Understood. <laughs> The duo visit Daiichi Cutter Kogyo. Their tool of choice is a supercharged high speed water jet. The company has the top market share in Japan for demolition jobs ranging from giant indoor ski parks to earthquake restoration projects. First, let's witness water jet power. What's all this? It looks like a character out of a movie. An alien here to save Earth. Protective clothes help ensure safety. That's incredible! The water flows at 2,160 kilometers per hour, faster than the speed of sound. It's finished! Amazing! Look at the pieces of concrete! They were flying everywhere! The secret is this giant, specially built pump. It generates 30 times more pressure than conventional pressure washers. But will it be enough to cut through super strong concrete? The other team is Sagami Kogyo, which specializes in blasting demolition. Controlled blasting is their claim to fame. Here they demolish just the pillar. The wall's completely untouched. Impressive! Blasting requires explosives. We visit the company's special storage site. It's located deep in the mountains. Check out the sign. It says Explosives Warehouse. I've never seen one before. But it's white on white, like they're trying to hide it. Hard to read. <laughs> the walls inside the compound are thick. It's like a fortress. Here's the storehouse. This is it, huh? Wow, it's well protected. It really looks like a bunker. It takes five keys to open the door. Security is tight. 
Are those explosives? 10 gram charges. All kinds of explosives are stored inside. Here's a one kilo charge. Wow, it looks like a sausage. How powerful is it? We use these in quarries. In the mountains? To level mountains. So those can bring down a mountain? Yes. Wow. Explosives must be handled with extreme care. Safety precautions are in force right up to detonation. Would you please demonstrate, Nagano-san? Wait! First, it's quiz time! Nagano-san does a little ritual before touching the explosives. Whose pose does he imitate? Number one, a top rugby player. Number two, a former Tokyo Giants pitcher. Number three, a soccer legend. Or number four, a sumo wrestler. Which is it? No idea. I'll say number two. Let's find out. Huh? The rugby player? We have static electricity in our bodies. I use this to ground it out. Don't be fooled. Here's his ritual. Hey, wait a minute. What is this? Some kind of prayer? <laughs> to completely discharge electricity, I always touch the ground like this before I touch the explosives. It's a kind of good luck charm. The answer is the giant's pitcher. Extreme care must be taken to keep static electricity away from the explosives. Safety first. With that motto, this team accepts the challenge of controlled blasting. So much I don't know. Yes. Let me introduce Ito-san and Nagano-san of the blasting team. Thank you for coming. What was your first response when you heard about our challenge? We said no. Huh? But we're dedicated to safety, accuracy, and speed. So in the end, we wanted to give it a try. We also have the members of the water jet team here. Thank you for coming. Well, Yoshida-san, your water jet sure has a lot of power, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Your company president is here. That's added pressure. What happens if they win? Will you give them some kind of reward? It is bonus time, so maybe. Bonus time! <laughs> Good luck to you! <laughs> Here are the rules. Cut holes through two walls and rescue a dog. The time limit is two and a half hours. The first obstacle is the super strong concrete. The hole must be square and larger than 90 centimeters per side. At 30 centimeters, wall one is extremely thick and packed full of rebar. Using conventional methods, it would take four hours to cut through it. Let's see how our two teams approach the challenge. We'll start with the blasting team. The whole company gets to work. The team is led by company chairman Norio Ito, a 40-year veteran of the business. He'll be on site directing operations himself. Masayuki Nagano is his right-hand man. He used to work at a large demolition company, but was headhunted by Ito eight years ago. Although he has an impressive resume, he's never dealt with such hard concrete before. I know. Drill holes, insert explosives, and see how much is demolished. The demolition procedure is set. First, they'll drill holes and then fill them with explosives. All the charges are detonated at once to break the concrete. Then, bolt cutters are used to cut the rebar. 
they get to work on the holes. Nagano has his own special trick. Okay, let's drill diagonally. Using a protractor, he begins drilling at a 45-degree angle. He says this increases explosive power. They carefully remove all debris. A sheet is erected to catch flying debris. They set the explosive charges. It's time to detonate. Any problems, Monitor B? All systems go. The area is cleared, and they do a final safety check. The car's gone. Three seconds to detonation. Three, two, one, detonate. To ensure safety, they wait five minutes before approaching the site. That will be true during the contest, too. It's a long wait. How did they do? Looks fine. They didn't break through, but it was a good blast. But why drill at an angle? This shows the shockwaves generated by the blast. The red indicates high energy. The diagonal holes show more red. This indicates that the destructive energy is being transmitted more efficiently inside the wall. Compare the two methods. Diagonal holes are much more destructive, despite using the same amount of explosives. Nagano learned this through long experience. They need even more power. So... We'll increase the charges by 5 grams to 25 grams. He thinks an increase of 5 grams will be enough to break through the wall with a single blast. Detonate! How'd they do? They broke through in places, but the results weren't as good as they'd hoped. There's no tamping effect. What? Tamping effect? Tamping means packing the hole with material like clay after the charge has been set. This helps direct the explosive power inward to amplify the blasting effect. But with more explosives, there's less room for tamping. That means... The tamping can no longer block the explosive force. In a worst-case scenario, explosive force might be reduced by 90%. This is bad. Really bad. Worse than I thought. He wants to increase the amount of explosives to break through the wall. But that reduces the space for tamping, which weakens the blast. What a dilemma! Nagano has to stay tensely alert on the blasting site. I'm home, I'm home. Welcome back. Home is where he relieves stress. Both he and his wife work. Today, Nagano will show what he can do in the kitchen. His kids love his curry. The dam's leaking. Leaking. <laughs> Not much of a leak. You don't like mama's curry? Yeah. What about papa's? Good. I hardly ever make curry. 
After relaxing with his family, Nagano heads for his room. He takes out a plastic model. <laughs> at work, I demolish things. But here at home, I like to build little things like this. Nagano likes the sense of accomplishment he gets from detailed handiwork. He puts the same careful thought into both tearing down and building up. With his family's support, can he solve his impasse? You can do it. <laughs> Hang in there. Go, go, go! You couldn't get through the concrete, but you had no trouble getting the curry through the rice. <laughs> <laughs> Nagano-san, I'm no expert, but shouldn't you just beef up the explosive charge? You increased it, didn't you? Yes, up to 30 grams. Actually, he tried it with that amount a week ago. Take a look. Are you showing it? A week ago, Nagano increased the charge to 30 grams. But he also drilled wider holes. That way, he could save space for tamping. What were the results? Total destruction! That can hardly be called a hole. That was the last experiment they tried. So with that amount, you get completely different results. Yes. We get more power, but less control. I see. That's what happened last week. Meanwhile, you have models to build. No, I'm taking a break from that. <laughs> Next up, the water jet team. Handpicked employees gather in the conference room. They're shocked when they hear about the goal. We're aiming for 90 minutes. <laughs> 90 minutes? For everything? Blasting would be faster. They're competing against explosives. They need speed. Usually, they cut the concrete with a water jet and cut the rebar with bolt cutters. But if they use the same technique on super strong concrete, they estimate it'll take more than four hours to do the job. Their leader for this difficult task is Keisuke Yoshida. He's worked with water jet technology for 17 years. Now a division manager, he's taken the helm on many projects. Strategy number one for more speed, use two pumper trucks to increase water pressure by 50%. Strategy number two, introduce a secret weapon. The weapon? It's garnet, a common gemstone that, even compared with other minerals, is very hard. Is it expensive? It's not cheap. <laughs> Here's the procedure. First, use the water jet at high pressure. Apply it in repeated passes to gradually cut away the concrete. Then, without stopping, add granules of garnet to cut through the rebar. Not even Yoshida has ever used just a water jet to demolish a concrete wall that's 30 centimeters thick. Here we go. We're bringing explosives in. Stand back. Evacuate. Plus two. Three, two, one. Detonate. Whoa! 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 Supreme Skills Demolition Spectacle. What a sight. 
In this episode, we present life-saving technology. A large earthquake can flatten buildings in an instant. How can people trapped below them be saved? One technology is essential. It's called... We're bringing explosives in. Stand back. Evacuate. Plus two? Three, two, one, detonate! Whoa! 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 Supreme Skills Demolition Spec. Much harder types of concrete have been developed. To break them apart, we need more power and speed than ever before. Today, watch us take on demolition with hurricane force. On one side, explosives that shatter thick cup. At this rate, they'll exceed the time limit by an hour. It's a tough spot. Whenever Yoshida hits an obstacle at work, he likes to head home early. I'm home. Welcome back. <laughs> he lives with his wife and three children. Despite the din of daily life, Yoshida can relax here. Calling Akito Yoshida. Akito Yoshida. Papa's famous now. <laughs> nah. -uh. No way, right? Impossible. Yoshida joined his company 17 years ago. He says it took him a long time to get used to demolition work. All that changed with the mid Niigata earthquake of 2004. He worked to remove a land bridge that had collapsed. They quickly replaced the damaged structure. That experience taught Yoshida to take pride in his work. Our oldest had just been born when the quake struck. He sent me to stay with my parents and went right back to work. If he's going to do something, he should do it well. If he's going to compete, he's got to win. A wifely challenge. Are you up to it, Yoshida? A member of the development division comes to Yoshida with an idea. We ended here, then go here, here, here. That's got to be faster. The team sets to work assembling a large steel frame. This is typical of their company. They make everything themselves to maximize the potential of their water jet. Here's their answer. They'll use two nozzles. With this new strategy, they hope to double their operational efficiency. Go for it! I see. So you attach two nozzles, huh? But do you usually build custom frames and tools like that? Yes. We often work on civil engineering sites. Each site has unique structures, so we have to tailor our tools to match each site. Well, I was struck by your wife's comment. She needs you to win. She has quite a dynamic personality, doesn't she? <laughs> Blasting versus water jet. The contest begins! They must cut holes in two walls and rescue the dog. Their time limit is two and a half hours. The first challenge is wall one, which is made of super strong concrete. The hole must be at least 90 centimeters square. Ordinarily, this wall alone would take more than four hours to breach. How will they do it? Let's get started. Our contest has officially begun. Three, two, 
One, start! Now, they're getting into position. It's weird that our contestants are so far away. 50 meters to the near team, 110 to the far one. It's like we're shooting two different programs. <laughs> Let's watch the water jet team first. That frame was made just for this contest? Yes. It has two nozzles. That's right. There's the water jet. The water started. It really cuts, doesn't it? Yes. Water is amazing. How long do you think it will take you to uh, breach the first wall? We're aiming for less than an hour. Less than an hour? Yes. The two nozzles deliver plenty of power. A good, fast start. Meanwhile, the blasting team... Uh, they've started drilling. Yes. Is that a 45-degree angle? That's right. Is it hard to drill, Ito-san? Much harder. Than normal? Yes. Takes twice as long. Wow! Huh? Nagano's writing something. It says they've hit steel. While drilling the hole, they hit the rebar. They can't drill any deeper. Keeping the internal structure in mind, they look for a new drilling position. But they've lost time. There's a double layer of rebar, so when you drill at 45 degrees, you can miss the first layer, but still hit the second one. It's tricky to navigate. Fourteen minutes. The water jet team. Ah! They're through! Incredible! They did it! <laughs> it's gouging the ground! How's it going, Takashi-san? So far, so good. The blasting team has suffered a setback, while the water jet team is making steady progress. Twenty-five minutes. The blasting team finally finishes drilling the holes. We're bringing the explosives in. Stand back. Ah, uh, uh, the explosives. They've moved the camera back for safety reasons. I bet we'll see Nagano-san's ritual soon. Yes. Oh, he touched the ground. Nagano assumes his customary good luck pose. After grounding out static electricity, he's ready to insert the charges. In their experiment one week before the contest, they blew the wall to smithereens. What's the plan now? How are you inserting the charges? Before, we had one big charge in each hole. Now, each charge is divided in two. They decided to divide the charges. Instead of one 30-gram charge for each hole, they're putting in two 15-gram charges in alternation with tamping. It's the same total amount, but distributed differently. Will it work? 40 minutes have passed. The water jet team. They're almost done cutting. To the left. 
Here? This is the rebar, I think. No, a bit to the right. What the heck? He seems upset. Maybe it's still not cut. That's right. Still uncut, yes. Oh. Huh? Did it move? It's coming out! Incredible! You can release the lever. Amazing! They cut right through the rebar. The frame is designed to hold the cut slab after it's pulled out. It removes and stores the slab at the same time. I see. The same device is used to cut the hole and remove the material. That's efficient. And it only took 54 minutes. At nearly the same time, the blasting team's also on the move. Go ahead. We've almost finished the wiring. Please begin evacuating the area. The wiring will be finished soon. Roger. Evacuate. Us too? Yes, please. The blast is that big? It's almost time. Everyone must stand back. This is serious business. Attention, please. Please confirm that evacuation is complete before we detonate. Can they breach the wall without pulverizing it? 10 seconds to detonation. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven. I'm getting six, nervous. Five, four, three, two, one, detonate. Whoa! 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 Amazing! What destructive power! That was incredible! What a sight! We have detonation. We must confirm that all charges have fired. Please stay in the safety zone. For safety, they must wait five minutes before approaching the site. What happened to the wall? Meanwhile, the water jet team checks the dimensions of their hole. Check! Check! Get the breaker! Is something wrong? They need to cut more? Yes. They didn't want to. It hurts their pride. I see. They wanted the water jet alone to do the job. The concrete's so hard, it diverted the water stream. The hole's too narrow in one place. Too bad. Meanwhile, the blasting team has finished waiting and can get back to work. It went well, didn't it? Yes, I think so. It's not pretty, but the wall's still there, I think. The wall's still standing. They meet the requirements. Barely. Now they just have to cut the rebar. They're catching up. They'll pull out the central concrete block. What will they use? A rope. Really? Human power? When we go to a disaster site, we minimize our use of machines. We have to be able to carry everything ourselves. So only equipment that people can carry, huh? Large machinery can't always get into a disaster site. It's a policy based on real needs. Oh! Wait! It's caught on something. The back rebar isn't cut. 
Still there. It's hard to reach. Can they cut it? Oh, how frustrating! Almost! <laughs> 56 minutes. The water jet team is ready to be checked. Is their hole 90 centimeters square, the minimum size needed for rescue? Time to check the water jet team. How'd they do? It went through! Success! The time? 56 minutes and 36 seconds. Amazingly, it took them less than an hour to do a job that normally takes more than four hours. Thanks to their collective expertise, the double nozzles a great success. Supreme skill! The blasting team. They did it! With human power. Impressive. They're ready to be checked. Is the hole big enough? It looks a bit tight on top, but it goes through. The blasting team breaches the first wall. Their time is 75 minutes and 33 seconds. The blasting team clears the first wall. They're 20 minutes behind their rivals. Can they catch up? Both teams have reached wall two, which is thin and brittle. They must open a 90 centimeter square hole and rescue a dog sitting one meter from the wall without injuring it. Of course, they're not allowed to work behind the wall. The water jet team is ahead. But wall two is a particularly difficult challenge for them. The problem is the jet's power. Amazing! <laughs> it's sure to hit the dog. How can they prevent that? They give the job to an expert in equipment development named Ken Uchida. He creates many of the tools used by his company. He decides to install a sheet behind the wall that will catch the water before it hits the dog. But they're not allowed to go behind the wall. How will he install it? Uchida takes out a long pole and gets to work. What's he making? Here it comes. Uchida's secret weapon is brought to the site. It's inserted through the wall. Wow. How cool is that? The dog doesn't seem surprised. Can it be pulled toward us? He's reaching through to get it. Fantastic. He's got it. Can they unroll it? Will it go down? Looking good. Is it unrolling? There it goes! They unrolled it! What a great idea! They position the unrolled sheet behind the wall. Once they secure the bottom, they're ready. A jet powerful enough to gouge the earth. Can the sheet withstand it? The jet's hitting the sheet really hard. Can it take it? Looks like the wall's been breached, but the sheet's holding. One hour and 25 minutes. The blasting team finishes drilling and quickly inserts the charges. Ah, 
I see the dog? His name's Leaf. He's only a meter away. That makes it very difficult. Our team's dog looks closer. <laughs> Same distance. Leaf sits right behind the wall. They have to weaken the blast to just the right level. They'll try to stop just before breakthrough. They'll demolish the front of the wall, but blast just enough to crack the back. Then they'll use a breaker to finish the job. That should help them avoid flying debris. The plan looks good on paper. Not great. Even with smaller charges, the explosion still penetrates. What will they do? Based on what we've seen, we've decided to reposition the charges by 10 millimeters. So, one centimeter shallower? Nagano positions the charges just one centimeter closer to the front. He's relying on long years of experience. Can they crack the back of the wall without breaking through? This'll be great. Attention, please. 10 seconds to detonation. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, detonate. No debris in back. Yeah. It looks good. It didn't go through. That's right. Did they succeed? The front is demolished exactly as planned. What about the back? Let's replay the explosion. It didn't penetrate, just cracks. Blasting only the dimensions you choose. That's precision demolition. Supreme skill. Nagano-san smiling. Yeah. He sure is. Yes. He's relieved. With the concrete cracked, the rest is easy. The blasting team sets to work, hoping to catch up. What do you think? They might finish at the same time. Maybe so. Water jet? or blasting, who will win? Oh! Both teams open a big enough hole. But is the dog safe? There's Leaf. Great, he's there. The dog's all right, they did it. And the water jet? Did the sheet protect the dog? Ah, he's okay. He's safe. Both teams brilliantly conquer both walls. But who did it faster? Blasting team, one hour, 59 minutes and seven seconds. Water jet team, one hour, 48 minutes, and 37 seconds. The water jet team was faster by 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Congratulations to the water jet team. It's been a long road from initial preparation. I'm relieved. I'm sure. Well, you didn't win, Ito-san, but how do you feel about your time? Uh, I'm satisfied. Yeah. It shouldn't be long until this new demolition technology is used to save lives.